Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on the video. So for this day, it was supposed to be for day three of Inktober and the keyword for that was bait. And so I got this idea of doing one of the different definitions for bait considering one of them is about like fishing and stuff normally. So I didn't wanna just jump ahead and do something right along the lines of fishing. So a different definition of the word bait is to like taunt or tease somebody. Um, so I kind of got the idea of like a really lonely girl, kind of depressed, no friends. And so I got this idea of a girl kind of like sad and depressed. And then so like these other kids always pick on her and everything. So she's really sad all the time. So I just kind of got the idea of putting her in a room, curled up in a ball, hugging herself and just replaying all these words that everybody repeatedly says to her. So it's like dumb, stupid, ugly, and loner. Um, and I, I tried a different kind of style than I normally do. Um, I kind of tried to make the face like really squinty and everything as much as I could to make it indicate that she's like crying or like really feeling really sad and everything. Um, so I really like this pose that I did. I had never tried it before and I think it came out pretty good. I did use a reference for it, so it's not like my original idea. I just want to say that right now. It is off the internet, so you could find it on Pinterest or something. I think that's where I found the pose. And then for the shading, I wanted to shade the hair and I wanted to give the end pieces a little bit more of a dark looking color so that like she could kind of be perceived as kind of maybe goth or emo or however you want her hairstyle to be just to kind of put in more of the um, depressed, lonely girl that has no friends and everything because I used to feel that way at least so I like kind of understand like how I was drawing this especially since I when I d did draw this I was kind of sad so it was easier for me to draw I guess in a sense If you're ever sad too, a good thing to do is to try to draw because then that might be a good coping skill to get some of your sadness and anger out because then you could just put whatever you're feeling onto paper. For me, it's not really that good of a coping mechanism just because it doesn't really work for me. It kind of just makes me want to rip out the pages and just scribble all over the place. It doesn't make me feel that better, but it's always a good thing to try, I guess. And also, I... I shaded like right under her hair on her forehead and I think that makes it look really good because it shows that like her face is kind of hidden. I just wanted to say that because it looks really cool in my opinion. And then I just go over the drawing with um, my ballpoint pen because it is my gel pen and I love my gel pens. Um, I just wanted to make the hair a little bit more defined, so I did that. Sorry, I'm not really talking that much in this video. I honestly never know what to talk about. It's really hard to come up with just something to say or like any topic or anything other than just what I'm drawing. And I did the double crossover on the dumb word because I thought it was going to look cool, but it actually doesn't look cool. It kind of literally just looks dumb. <laughs> um, but whatever, so I kind of just left the other words alone as they were, just because I didn't want to mess it up anymore. <laughs> um, so this is the finished product. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, if you have any advice, 
like I always say in each video, I'm open to any constructive criticism. Please let me know whether you like it or not in the comments. Um, and if you like it, please give me a like on the video. And if you'd like to continue to see more videos from me, you can subscribe to my channel if you would like to. But you do not have to. Um, I appreciate you guys watching the video. And I think that is all. So thank you so much. Bye.